Hey guys, Stephanie Davies here. I want to talk to you today about success partners and also working with other coaches on the team and how to utilize those relationships. So what's a success partner? A success partner is just simply another coach that um, you're drawn to, that you work with, that's someone separate from your upline coach. So for me, it was a girl that joined on the same day that I joined. And we kept ending up in each other's inboxes, asking questions and realized that we had something to offer to each other. And we're like, hey, I think we should be, what? what's that thing? Success partner? Yeah. So this is just another coach that um, can hold you accountable, that you check in with. You guys know each other's goals. Um, you have that already in your upline coach. You know, they hold you accountable and they help you and they answer your questions. But it's really nice to have another perspective in your business. Like, why not utilize another person that can give you their honest opinion and that maybe you can talk to them about things that you might not be able to talk to your upline coach about. Um, it's so valuable. I have a weekly call with my success partner and we run trainings together for our teams. So, um, She's offered so much value to my business and really pushed me to be a better coach. So I can't even stress to you how important it is to have this person that is your partner in success and that's going to hold you accountable to your why and they know what you're working on. And each week you can talk about, you know, what went well, what didn't strategize together on, you know, how you're going to help your teams better, how you can overcome a certain issue that you're having or, you know, it's just another perspective, someone that's got your back that you feel connected to um, that can really help you grow your business and take it to the next level. So other things um, you and your success partner might do, like I mentioned the team training that I run with mine and um, how to find a success partner is probably what we should talk about. So I know it's really exciting and you want to, you know, get one and nail it down and start rocking and rolling. But I really encourage you to kind of try and let it happen organically. So someone that you're drawn to because of their style or you feel like you're friends because you're going to be working with each other closely and hopefully for the long haul. So um, it's okay to have a few, but um, it's nice to have that one person that you know really knows what's going on and it's going to be honest with you. Uh, but just like friendships, we might have a few that offer different things to us. So, um, but have that one. I really encourage you to find that one. Let it happen organically. See who you end up talking to a lot anyways besides your upline coach. And then think, you know, this person has something to offer me. We kind of are the yin and yang to each other. So um, everyone has something to offer. For my success partner, it was she was rocking it at Challengers. And I was rocking it at Recruiting Coaches. So we were a good fit for each other. We wanted to help each other through that initial step in our first few months as a coach. Um, so it's super valuable, you guys. I encourage you to add that to your list of things, you know, for your first 30 or 60 days just to have in your mind, just to be aware of who you're working with and really um, take it to the next level with a coach and, and let them know what you're working towards and that you're there to help them work towards those big, scary goals as well. So um, we have our success partners, we have our upline coaches, and we also have our entire team to utilize to help us grow our business and also to grow personally. I never anticipated really that as aspect of this business, but it's been the richest. The connections and the friendships you'll make with other coaches really seal the deal. Like I'm in this for the long haul, even if it's just because I've made some of the most incredible friends on this journey. So I encourage you to utilize that. I know as a new coach, I didn't really understand that the team page that I was added to was something that I could contribute to. Um, but I think that they're a great resource for new coaches and older coaches. So um, I like to think of it like a marriage. So, you know, we have our husbands or our wives or our partners, spouses, whatever. We have this one person and that is kind of like our upline coach. And, you know, we, we can't rely on them to, to fill everything that we need. So luckily we have friends that fill our other needs and we also have our team pages. So there are coaches that are better at different things than I am or my upline coach or all of your upline coaches. So having 200, 300, 700 to almost 2000 coaches in TKO to brainstorm with and ask questions, um, is, is so valuable and we 
we should really utilize those relationships. So um, I like to think about questions that I'm going to ask if I was going to message my upline coach and ask her, you know, about a program or about some sort of simple issue that I'm having, you know, could this help someone if I posted it in the team group and we all got to see the answer. Um, and we also got a ton of different perspectives, whether it's a question about a program or just some, some way that you're feeling, maybe you're feeling overwhelmed, you know, the team can relate and we can all brainstorm together and help one another and use that big team page as a place to come together and help one another. Um, so that can, you know, relieve some of the pressure from you when you're a coach of, and have a lot of coaches under you. Um, and also just helps the team in general, you know, add value to the team pages. And if something works for you, share it. Cause when one of us succeeds, we all succeed. Beachbody has set it up in such a cool way that that's really the truth. So utilize the team pages, get yourself a success partner and take your business to the next level.